Hello, this is Trusted CISO and Ransomware Recovery in 5 Minutes. Now, what if you're a victim of ransomware? Well, what's going to happen is malware is going to be loaded on your machine because you went to some obscure website or you were sent an email and it had it attached or it sent you to some hacker website and all of the files on your computer are going to be encrypted. Now, what will happen is a message will be thrown up on the screen. At this point in time, if it says your files are encrypted and you're not going to be able to access them, the first thing that you need to do is turn off the networking. Turn off the Wi-Fi. Most people use Wi-Fi. If you have a cable, you can unplug it. So if you have a Mac, you're going to look for the Wi-Fi icon, and this is on the left side, and you're just going to turn the slider off. On Windows, you're going to look for the lower right bottom of the screen, see the Wi-Fi, click it, and make sure it's off. And if this is your work computer, make sure that you call the company support line. Now, that's very important because if you don't turn off the networking and Wi-Fi, newer forms of ransomware will self-propagate on your network. So now it's not just your machine, but every machine on your local area network. Now, write down any email address, Bitcoin address, URL. In this case, we have this CURT. Get that information. And then write it down on a piece of paper and turn off your computer. Turn it off because you can actually stop the rest of your files from being encrypted. If you turn it back on, make sure you have your Wi-Fi and your network cable disconnected. Now, you can go to this website, ID Ransomware, and check and see what type of ransomware it is. Enter the email or contact URL. In this case, we have Kurt's email. Hit the upload button and uh, sadly they don't have the decryption key for this. You can also check the nomoreransom.org website. But that doesn't mean they don't have the decryption key for the ransomware that's on your computer. Now, do you have a good offline backup? It's important to have offline backups because any backups that are active on your machine that are actively connected, whether it's a cloud or through the USB, those can also be encrypted. But if you just connect an external USB hard drive, for example, once a week and make a backup and disconnect it or have it set up to disconnect, you should be good and you, sh you should have those backups. So you can use your either your phone or another computer to go out and get the steps to walk through whether you have an Apple or a Windows machine and restore from backup. Now, should you pay the ransom? Law enforcement says absolutely not because even if you pay the ransom, you may not get the decryption key. Hit subscribe for more cybersecurity tips from Trusted CISO. See you next time.